Hello, I'm attorney Melanie Williams, and today I'm going to be talking to you about higher level review appeals. So we've talked before about when you get a decision from the VA and you're not happy with it and you want to appeal, you have three options. You could either file file a supplemental claim where you submit new evidence to the VA or a higher level review, or you could appeal to the Board of Veterans Appeals. So with the higher level review appeals, you do not submit any new evidence. You're basically asking the VA to consider your claim again based on what's already in the file. So just look at, you're asking them to look at everything that they've looked at before. This is where someone new will make a decision. So this person is called a higher level reviewer. It's supposed to be someone who has more experience and can review what the previous person decided and determine whether or not they made the right decision. One option that you have when filing a higher level review appeal is whether you want to ask for an informal conference. So this is an opportunity for you to speak directly to the person who is making the decision. And you would indicate on the form if you want the higher level review, you would put your email address, your phone number and everything, and they would call you and do that conference with you. I will say from experience, um, when I've had these informal conferences, the, the adjudicator often doesn't review the file beforehand. So although you may want to come in and be ready to, um, you know, argue, argue the points and argue how your claim is, is favorable and the mistakes that they made, the person making the decision and talking to you at the time may not have reviewed your file at all. Um, they may be coming in and looking at the the case for the first time. So just keep that in mind when you're talking to them. You're going to want to make it as easy for them as possible to understand what it is that you're arguing, what they got wrong in the decision, and what you're asking for. So one way to do that, and the, the number one tip I have when filing a higher level review appeal, is to include a written portion, um, an argument, a position statement. We do this with all of our higher level review appeals, where you are basically laying out for them exactly what you want them to know. So you want to lay out what it is that you are arguing or appealing or or asking for. You want to explain what the error was in the decision that they made and why they were wrong and and point to the evidence in your file that shows that it's favorable. So if they made an unfavorable CMP exam and that's what they made their decision on, let's say you have your own doctor's report, you'll want to point to that and say, you didn't consider the doctor's report that I that I filed. Um, and that tends to happen a lot, especially with initial decisions. Um, they sometimes will just kind of issue a blanket denial or um, make a decision where they don't really explain why they made the decision that they did and they don't address the evidence that you submitted. So this would be a good opportunity for you to write out what evidence you submitted, what they didn't consider, what they didn't give enough credit to, um, really make it clear for the person reviewing the decision to know exactly what error they need to fix.